congrats! You're currently in quarantine and you made your mind up to go to Switzerland. You have no idea what places you want to visit and all the guides are bad? I got you covered. This is top 10 places to visit in Switzerland, part 2. If you haven't watched part 1 of this series yet, I definitely recommend you do that after. I'll link the first part in the end of this video. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing, it's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Disclaimer, the rank does not represent how beautiful the places are, as they are each pretty in their own way. Number 10. The Sealpsi. Translated correctly into English, this lake is called Lake Alp Lake. It's laying in the canton of Appenzell in Roden, in the northeast of Switzerland. The Sealpsee strikes with its clear water and the beautiful scenery around the lake. You can get there within a 15 minute hike. The path is quite steep, so make sure you're fit enough and wear proper shoes. During the summer, there's a creamery on the Alp in which you can see them milk the cows and craft the cheese. Number 9. The Albla Bernina Railway Line. Over 196 bridges, through 55 tunnels and through 20 villages with a great view left and right at all times. How does that sound? With the Albula Bernina railway line, it's possible. Over 120 kilometers in the same train from here to here in the southeast of Switzerland. The interesting landscape of the canton of Grisons makes this train ride unforgettable. Number 8. Grindelwald. Grindelwald is not only the name of this Harry Potter universe character, but also of this little village in the Alps of Bern. It's located here. During winter, it's a great spot to ski or snow hike. During summer, you can go hiking or do lots of other activities. Grindelwald serves as a hub for other attractions in the Jungfrau region, like the Jungfrau Joch, the small Scheidegg, or the Mandelchen. This video's shoutout goes to... Eski! who wished for a second part. Hope you enjoyed this video and merhaba to Turkey. Number 7. The Urschinensee. Yes, another lake. Switzerland is home to around 1,500 lakes, so no wonder there are multiple lakes in this top 10 list. The Urschinen Lake lays at 1,600 meters above sea level, is around 56 meters deep and has an area of 1.1 square kilometers. Since 2007, the lake is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's surrounded by multiple mountains, which makes the scenery especially pretty. During summer, you can swim in the lake, and it's a real paradise for hikers. And there's a summer sled run down the hill. During winter, you might be able to ice skate on it, or go for a hike if there's too much snow. What makes the lake so special is the underground outflow of the water. Number 6. The Lion of Lucerne and the Glacier Garden. From lots of different nature sightseeing, we go a bit into the history of Switzerland now. The Lion of Lucerne, the 10 by 6 meter statue, was finished in 1821. It's located in the city of Lucerne. The dying lion reminds of the 760 Swiss guards who got killed in the French Revolution in the year 1792 in Paris. The Swiss guards were guarding the French royal family. With around 1.4 million yearly tourists, the line is one of the most famous memorials in Switzerland. The statue also shows the following motto, which means the loyalty and the bravery of the Swiss. There's also a little pond in front of the statue, which functions as a wishing well. Next to the line of Lucerne, you can find the Glacier Garden, a nature memorial with an attached museum and a beautiful park. It was opened back on May 1st in the year of 1873. The museum, with its inside and outside attractions, take you back into times in which the whole country of Switzerland was covered in glaciers or when it was a subtropical region with palm trees and beaches all around. In 1872, while digging to construct a wine tavern, this legend found the first giant's kettle in this region. If you're like, what is a giant's kettle? You're not alone. These holes are created by the water flowing in the middle of a glacier. There is also a mirror maze surrounded by a pretty park. 
The line of Lucerne and the Glacier Garden are a nice place for the whole family to spend an afternoon. Number 5. The Trümmelbach Falls The Trümmelbach Falls are located in the canton of Bern, right around here. The water going down these falls comes from the glaciers all around. The falls are mostly hidden inside the mountain and accessible via a funicular or via the stairs. 1913, the falls were opened to the public in a touristic fashion. The falls are spread over a height of 140 meters and 10 different falling stages. Around 20,000 liters of water go down every single second. Compared to the Rhine Falls, one of the three biggest waterfalls in Europe, which has an average outflow of 373,000 liters every second, the Trümmelbach Falls are definitely worth visiting. Number 4. The Elitch Glacier Have you ever come across a glacier in real life? No? Lucky you, because the biggest and longest glacier in Europe is located in Switzerland and is easily accessible. The Elitch Glacier is 22.6 kilometers long and has an area of 79 square kilometers. It's located in the canton of Valais and originates in the Jungfrau region and is located here. The Alec Glacier was a famous tourist spot early on, and also it has been a subject for many scientists ever since 1937. The glacier is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. Have a wonderful snow hike or summer hike and enjoy the breathtaking view onto the alleged glacier. Wait a minute! Have you liked the video yet? This is a like the video checkpoint. I'd really appreciate it and it helps my channel out a lot. Alright, carry on. Number 3. Swiss Miniature Alright, enough of the beautiful sceneries in real life. If you want to see the whole country of Switzerland with all its main attractions and buildings, come to the Swiss Miniature Park in the Italian part of Switzerland. This park was opened back in 1959. Since then, they have added and detailed over 130 models of churches, castles, monuments and other iconic buildings. Other than that, the park is home to around 3.5 kilometers of rails for 18 model trains, one rack railway, one cable railway, one overhead railway, and multiple model boats. The only non-Swiss model is the Dome of Milan, which was added because the Italian part of Switzerland was once part of the Duchy of Milan. You can also find 15,000 flower species, over 1,500 trees, while you go around. Every model in the park is in the scale of 1 to 15. Every year, around 200,000 people visit Swiss Miniature. It's a perfect place to bring your kids. They also have a model of the line of Lucerne that I talked about earlier in this video. Pretty sick. Number 2. Swiss National Park Back in 1980, a bunch of Swiss politicians wrote down the following law. The Swiss National Park is a reserve in which nature is protected from any human interference, and in particular, the entire fauna and flora are left to develop naturally. Expanding over 170 square kilometers, it's also the biggest protected area in Switzerland. 170 square kilometers is a little bit bigger than Switzerland's neighboring country Liechtenstein. Back in 1914, the park was founded and is therefore the oldest national park in the Alps and Central Europe. The Swiss National Park is well known for its extraordinary variety of alpine animals such as chamois, deer or marmots. And obviously for the beautiful nature, I don't have to tell you guys about it, you can see the pictures on the screen. Absolutely stunning. Number 1. The Swiss Museum of Transport. Growing up, this was my favorite museum in the whole country. The Swiss Museum of Transport is located in Lucerne, in the center of Switzerland, and exhibits all forms of transportation, including trains, cars, ships, and aircrafts, as well as communication and technology. This museum is the most visited museum in Switzerland. Other than just being a museum, they also have a working planetarium, a large format cinema, and an aerial picture of Switzerland in the scale of 1 to 20,000. The museum is home to lots of important inventions and milestones, like the Eureka, 
a 4.5 ton heavy satellite which is among the few space objects that returned safely down to Earth. Back in 1957, they started constructing the museum that was planned to be a train museum. They then added lots of other means of transportation to the museum. In 2019, they had around 560,000 visitors at the museum alone. The museum is such a great place because you can not only look at the vehicles, but there are many interactive attractions in which the visitors can try out something by themselves. Well, that sums it up for this video, my friends. My favorite place is definitely the Swiss Museum of Transport in Lucerne, because I connect a lot of good memories from my childhood with it. Which one of those 10 places is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Alright then, I hope you enjoyed this video and have an amazing day. Magic.